That's a flying fish, get the net. There he goes. Oh yeah, he's definitely big, the biggest one. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. We got the bucket here, we got the nets in here. We got the beautiful water right behind me here. Crystal clear, probably one of the clearest days in a while. So what we're gonna be doing today is catching a whole bunch of invertebrates for the mini saltwater pond. As you guys know, we recently set that up and it is now time to catch some little invertebrates to start off for that pond. And then once the invertebrates are in there for a while, we'll then catch some fisheries. So what we're gonna do is get everything together and we'll see you guys in the water. That scared the living hell out of me. Oh my God, that stingray was coming for my life. No, he was coming for your toes, bro. Dude, that, that's a massive stingray. That was a huge stingray. Oh my God. We didn't even get in the water yet. Oh my God. No time. Dude, I thought it was like a shark coming to kill me. I'd never seen that before. Like, I don't even know if I got it on the camera at that point. No. It scared me so bad. I've never seen one come up like that. Oh my God. I, think was, I felt like I was a sea world. What you got? Oh, what is it? Arrow. Oh. oh no, we got out. <gasps> you lost him. I lost him. I got him on GoPro though. Dang. So you're not I lying to me? You actually here. have footage of it? You'll see. Oh, that's good. Yeah. This guy didn't get away. You sure it's not just a clump of seaweed? No, no, he's not. I don't think so. I hope not. I don't know what that is. Oh, there he is, right there. Ready for this? <laughs> a little arrow crab. Again. There he is, right oh, there. Okay. Let's see, wash him off real quick so you can get a little better view. Oh, there he is. Yep. Great cleanup crew. We'll get him in the bucket here. There he goes. Whew. We lost one, but we got revenge. Try to see if we can find some more. Oh, I got it. What we got Ooh. in here? Another little arrow crap. He was actually not hiding. He was just walking on the sand. Went over, scooped him up. We got him. Dude, there was literally baby squid everywhere. I was just swimming underwater. I hear some girls say, are these squid? So I go over there, I check them out myself, and there were actually baby squid, like four of them, just staying in one spot. And then when I got close to them, they just spooked off. But I've never seen squid before, just free swimming during the middle of the day like this. Get the net. 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 Oh my god, he's huge. <laughs> Is that the biggest live fish you've ever seen? He's massive. Oh my gosh. Guys, I don't know if he's gonna fit in the bucket. Dude, try, like, we gotta try it. That thing's coming over the pond. Can you believe that right now? As we're just snorkeling around, this happens every now and then that, that will run into an invasive lionfish, and when you do run into them, you either gotta kill them or take them home. And today we're gonna be taking them home for the saltwater pond. Dude, I, I just, I'm like out of words right now, out of breath. Been swimming all morning. And this was so worth it, every bit of it. A massive lionfish, probably one of the biggest ones I've ever caught in. And you see those big old spines on him? Those will put you in the hospital. Dude. I don't even know how you got him in the net. Dude, it was so hard. Look at how cool that is, dude. He's gonna do good in the pond. He is, and he's gonna go along with all our other lionfish, so we won't be the only one. But we're gonna get this guy home ASAP and get him in the saltwater pond. 
We are back home at the mini saltwater pond. Now, before we get to the big saltwater pond, we did catch these arrow crabs. So we are gonna put them in the mini saltwater pond. There's one of them right there. But before we do that, we're gonna acclimate them for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll pick the camera back up and get them in here. All right, the time you guys have been waiting for, arrow crabs are going in. Now, I know this video completely changed. We were originally supposed to just add a bunch of invertebrates to the mini saltwater pond. But things changed, obviously. We ran into this massive lionfish. There's an arrow crab on his head right now. We'll get the first one in, and we are still adding things to the pond. I am fixing it up a little bit, but for now, this is perfectly fine. But if you guys still wanna see us go out and do a full video catching things for the mini saltwater pond, get this video to 10,000 likes. 10,000 likes, we'll go back and finish off the mini saltwater pond video. There he is right there. Look how sick that is, dude. Once he gets all comfortable and everything, he'll go into those rocks, I'm sure. Second arrow crab. Right off the lionfish's head. Put this guy in, in the middle here. Oh, <laughs> right into the rock. That's sick. Now over to the 3,000 gallon saltwater pond. We have a bunch of lionfish in here already. We have about, I would say, five lionfish in here right now. And we're gonna be adding another big old lionfish, probably the biggest one in here. So drop some names right now, what we should name this big old lionfish. By the way, also our big Tesselata, he's doing awesome in the pond. He's been in here for about two to three days so far, and he's getting along with everything, not messing with anything, and nothing's messing with him. So that's a really, really good sign. But uh, we're gonna get this guy acclimated, give him also about 30, maybe 40 minutes, just because he's on the bigger side, and then we'll pick the camera back up and get him in the pond. Here he goes, dude. I don't know if he's the biggest one. I mean, these guys already, like, he's pretty big. That one over there is pretty big. They're all really, really big. They obviously weren't this size when they first entered the pond. They've just grown over time. This guy is already that size, if not bigger, so. He's gonna get really big in this pond, but drop some names down below either for this guy or for the whole pack of lionfish. Maybe we can just name them as a pack. Drop some group names down below. Here he goes. In the school with the other lionfish. There he goes. Oh yeah, he's definitely big, the biggest one. 100%, you can see like, when compared to those ones to the left of him, dude, look, they're going over to him. He's like, hey! And I think the best part about today was the fact that we were able to rescue him and not have to kill him. Probably another person would have killed him just because these guys are such good eating. A lot of people go out and spear the lionfish and then end up making a good me a lot of them, but uh, we didn't do that today. We actually took him home for a saltwater pond, gave him another chance at life, and I think he's gonna do awesome in here. And we'll definitely keep you guys updated on his process, but look at the pond right now. I mean, it's literally getting better and better every day. It tests a lot of eels out, sharks are all swimming around, everything's healthy, and that wraps up today. We ended up catching a massive lionfish, went out there to catch invertebrates for the saltwater pond, but this always ends up happening, and Ty almost got his toe bitten off by a stingray, so. That was terrifying. Yeah, overall crazy day. Whew, and a tiring day, but with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. We do videos almost every other day on this channel, so if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!